Hey, what's happening, guys? You know what? I thought today we could talk a little bit about high current connectors for electronics work and stuff like that. Now, my first experience with the high current connectors came about well, 15 years ago when I switched from flying uh, nitromethane powered RC airplanes to electric planes. And the connector that I used was called a Dean's connector. It was also known as a T connector. I'll put a picture of it up there so you can see one. And they're rated for up to 60 amps. Very nice connectors. Uh, one of the other guys that I used to fly with used these connectors you see here. And these are called Anderson power poles. Now, what's nice about these connectors, um, they come in three different flavors, 15, 30, and 45 amp. These are, I think about the 30 amp, I hope, yeah, 30 amp Anderson power pole connectors. They're, they're kind of unique in that they are genderless. So you, you can see the little metal connector down in there. Well, if you just turn one upside down, they lock together like that. It works pretty nice. Another nice thing about them is you can see they have a little raised area here, raised area here, and an indent there. And what that indent actually is, is a dovetail. So that you can take two connectors and slide them together. Now, usually not that hard to do. Oh, man. Try another pair. I don't know what made them decide to be so difficult to deal with. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to make sure they're in the same direction. Oh my. These must be some real cheap ones I bought here. Because they don't want to slide together. But we'll make it work anyway. So the reason I've decided to play with these is they are widely used in the ham radio world. Also, uh, MCOM and things like that. They're basically the standard. So I have my sealed lead acid battery that I want to use with my uh, portable radio. And for the sealed lead acid battery in, I just have these little crimp on connectors, which would work fine. But to connect to the radio, which has Anderson power poles on it, I'm going to put Anderson power poles on this wire and we'll be good. So they use these little crimp on connectors here. And they just go in something like that. Now, they sell very expensive crimpers with dies and all that kind of stuff for this. But I'm not going to kick out that kind of money. They're like over 100 bucks. I'm just going to try it with my standard crimpers. And we'll see what happens. So we'll put one of these on here. And I guess we'll try this way. You guys are probably screaming, no! Yeah, I'm going to try it this way. Well, I don't think that's going to be very good. Because there's not a lot of room in those connectors, but that's crimped on there pretty good. So we'll try it then with the black one. 
same story, but this time what we'll do is we'll flip it over. And try the crimp in this direction. And then see if we can't just squish her a little. Now, the next debate is whether or not to solder them. Some people say yes, some people say no. I say yes, we're going to solder it. And the reason we're going to solder it is because electrons travel on the outside of wires. So we want as much surface area on the outside of the wires as possible. Now the reason I'm hanging them up vertically is because we don't want... the solder dripping up onto the part of the connector that we use for mating. So we'll try that here. A little solder on there for thermal transfer. Come on baby. There we go. All right, I'm going to do the other one off camera. So we gave him a couple minutes to cool down after soldering her. Good to touch now. So the next step is we have to put them in these little plastic hoods. And they basically just go up inside real nice and easy. But they can take quite a bit of force to get them to seat. They're, they're seated when they click. So sometimes you can just take a little screwdriver, give them a pop like that, and we're good to go on that one. And same way, same way here. A little push. There we go. And then we can just lock them together. Man, those are really tight. Let's uh, try a little heavy metal persuasion. It should not be that tight. Hmm. There we go. So now our power poles are ready and we're good to go portable now. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little video on Anderson power poles. They are excellent connectors. Um, the expensive crimping tool does make things a little, a little bit easier but as I showed you, you don't really need it. And now these are ready to go. So that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. That's it. I'm out. Peace.